For our first exercise, we'll be installing the LifeRay IDE. First, we'll download LifeRay Dev Studio. We'll run the installation executable. We'll start up LifeRay Dev Studio and then take a quick tour of the IDE. After this exercise, there will be two bonus exercises that I won't be going through, but that you can try for yourself. And this includes exploring the LifeRay workspace wizards. You can create a few additional workspaces choosing different options, and then you can review the differences in the generated workspaces. Also, try creating your first widget module. Navigate down through all of the tree files and then try to understand how this structure might align with what you are already familiar with in war based portlet development. And with that, let's get into the exercise. The first step is to come to help.liferay.com. You can navigate to this through the URL bar. After you're here, you're going to have to log in into your Liferay account. So there should be a login button on the top right. I'm currently logged in, so I won't be doing that here. After you log in, you'll see the following view and we'll come down to browse by product and we'll choose DXP73. We'll go ahead and click the downloads tab. And we'll click latest release. For the product, we'll change to developer tools. And then for the type, we'll choose developer studio. We'll then find library workspace with dev studio. And you can choose any of the 3.9 versions. So I'm going to download 3.9.1. I'm currently on Windows 64, so I will click download, but you can extend the drop down to find any of your operating systems that you're currently on. So after the download finishes, you can then run the installation executable. I'll go ahead and just open it up here. We'll go ahead and run anyway because the developer I think is not currently recognized. You have to select the Java runtime to use. I currently have it installed here. And we'll click through the installation. We'll use the default installation directory. We'll also click next to install the command line tools. And then LifeRay DXP is fine for us. And then you also have to choose file to add the activation key given to you in course materials. I will add this later. And go ahead and skip the proxy configuration and then click next to begin the installation. We'll click finish to close this dialog. Now we'll take a quick tour of the IDE. You'll navigate to the location where you installed LifeRay Developer Studio. You'll double click LifeRay Developer Studio. So I'm currently in my C drive, Program Files 86, LifeRay Workspace with Dev Studio, LifeRay Developer Studio. You'll double click here. And then a pop up will open, prompting you to select a default directory for your workspace. If you've never worked with Eclipse, this might look a little bit confusing, but this is essentially the same dialog that pops up when you first open Eclipse. And this will be where we store our settings. I'm going to choose our desktop just for the sake of these exercises, but you don't have to use the same directory as me. So this will take a moment to load, but the next screen you'll see should once again feel familiar to those of you who are experienced with the Eclipse IDE. The library workspace can be thought of as a space that encapsulates the details of a library project that you're working on, so containing settings, configs, code, and more. You might have noticed a folder library workspace alongside the executable to start the Dev Studio, and this workspace was generated by the installer. So we'll go ahead and click Import Library Workspace from Installer. And then you should now see the workbench with defaults to the LifeRay perspective. When working with your LifeRay solutions, this is the preferred perspective for a few reasons. For starters, the layout, the window panels on this includes the views that you're most commonly using when actively developing, like a project explorer up here, Gradle tasks on the right, and then you have servers near the bottom. And the second reason is because when working in this view, context menu and file menu options that are specific to LifeRay will become available for you to use. 
Okay, so that's it. You have Developer Studio installed and you're ready to start building your LifeRay applications. For those of you who would rather use an existing Eclipse installation or prefer to work with IntelliJ over Eclipse, the good news is that you can install the plugins that allow you to access LifeRay functionality in shortcuts separately. If that's your workflow, then check out the next section.